Alrighty, so in this video, I've got myself a few more. Well, I didn't get them for myself actually. This is this is my first mate, my little boy, who's gone off and got himself using his own pocket money. He's very proud of that. Um, a collection of um, Han Solo Star Wars um, coins. So he got. Uh, you might have seen a video I did before on um, some Darth Vader coins, and uh, I got a couple as Christmas gifts for him, and that sort of inspired him to want to collect the next one in that set. So. I uh, don't know if Dad did the good thing or, or a bad thing there, but I might have sort of turned him into a little bit of a silver bug as well. So um, I figure uh, maybe Star Wars can't be a bad thing to start collecting. So he's got himself five of these um, Han Solo coins. So you can see, I don't know if you've all seen these before, but um, um, he's got the Rebel Alliance uh, logo on the front and inside... You'll probably remember that scene there, where he was frozen in carbonite in uh, Empire Strikes Back. So definitely the boy was uh, quite excited about this, mostly because he used his own money to buy these. So uh, my, th my thinking there was he's, uh, he's only young, so I don't want this to be a bust and uh, you know an experience where he loses money. So I've given him a bit of a, an underwriting here that if he wants to sell any in three years' time and... Uh, can't get the price that he wants then I'll agree to pay um, a bit over what he paid for so that um, his first experience in coin collecting and and flipping will be a positive one hopefully uh, it's a, an introduction to saving investing and trading um, in a positive way that sticks with him for the rest of his life but um, just wanted to do a, a quick little video share these ones here with you I don't know if you've seen the Han Solo before, but um, I think they're already sold out from the, the New Zealand Mint. So, um, if you're looking for them on the on the primary markets, um, I think there's still some available. There was last time I had a look, um, but uh, they do sell out pretty quickly. I think just because they're Star Wars. So, we'll see whether or not they um, are just flavour of the month while the movie's out, or whether they continue to uh, appreciate in value but the Darth Vader coins look like they're on eBay and people are trying to get a couple of hundred bucks for them where they were originally maybe half that um, from the mint so um, we'll see whether it's just a quick fad or whether they've got any long-term um, premiums um, growing due to their I guess the Star Wars thing but um, very cool looking coins and hopefully uh, a good way to get uh, a young fella interested in the idea of saving and investing. Um, hopefully uh, um, they come out with a, another coin in the series because he's kind of looking forwards to, um, I don't know, probably um, a, a Luke Skywalker I'm guessing or an R2-D2 but hopefully they do come out with another one and um, hopefully it's not too far away. Alrighty, take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Now, if you like this video and you'd like to see more just like it, why don't you show your support by joining the crew and we'll explore gold and silver together.